Hi and welcome to this second tutorial uh, in the series which will show you how to create a magazine in Adobe Fireworks and in this tutorial we're going to look at some simple text manipulation tools and get our document ready for producing our magazine cover. So we've got a blank page here uh, which is good to go, in fact it's not white for some reason, let's make it white got a blank page and we want to start adding our elements to the page and we're going to begin with our text we're going to put our masthead on there and our selling line as well now before I do that what I'm actually going to do to help me produce a neat and well laid out magazine cover I'm actually going to use some grid guidelines you don't have to do this but I find it very useful when I'm producing a document like this if I go to uh, view and I can go grid and show grid and it will overlay a grid over the top of my page and that's very useful for me to line items up together when I have started to add several things to the page I can make sure they're lined up so that them so they look neat so that's a useful thing to have on and you might also notice I've got snap to grid as well which means that I can more accurately lock my objects to the lines in the grid if I, I can switch that off if I want to but I find it easier to, to leave that on. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a masthead. Now I'm going to make I'm going to do a music magazine and I'm going to make up the title of my magazine and I'm going to go for a look at a guitar magazine. I'm going to call it Axe Hero. So I'm going to use my effect text tool there on the left hand side and you notice a little cursor appears and I'm going to draw a text box or a box for where I want the text to go and there's a little tiny flashing cursor there. Let's just go in a little bit, and I'm going to call my, and that's barely readable. You'll notice that Axe Hero. That's because my font's kind of the wrong size and the wrong style and the wrong colour. So let's sort that out straight away. So I'm going to go. I'm going to highlight my text. I'm going to choose a different font. I'm going to go for one that I like, which is good, called Shanson Heavy, and then I'm going to make it a lot bigger than it is now in fact I'm going to make it capital letters I also think I'm, I might change no I'll leave it as red I kind of like the red colour I think that works quite well so you notice I've just really manipulated the text as if I was using a word processor um, like something like word and what I can do now if I want to sort of change the way that looks or move, move it out on about on the page, click the pointer tool, and then I can just move this. And you see how it kind of jerkily moves across the screen is because it's snapping to the grid. So I can line it up, I can decide that I might want it to just be exactly lined up against that second line there. And with this tool, I can change the size of my text frame as well. If I wanted to, I could use my scale tool. To make the text bigger so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger now just I'm dragging it from the corner always resize objects from the corner click my pointer tool again and reline it up and that's quite good so I've got the title I think it could still stand to be maybe a tiny bit bigger but we'll, we'll leave it at that for the moment if I zoom out to 50% that's not too bad now what I think I will do underneath is add a little selling line so I'm modestly going to say that this is the, the, the best guitar magazine in the world which obviously it isn't really but never mind so I'm going to choose another font for that impact this time I'm going to bring the size using this little slider right down change my font color worlds best guitar oops guitar magazine there we are. and with my pointer tool I can line it up so it sits quite neatly underneath and that doesn't look too bad that looks quite professional I think anyway now that's as simple as working with text can be but you can do more things with text than that if you want to 
uh, one of the things you might want to do is experiment with the spacing between the letters um, so if I click on my text tool again you notice that the text properties bar comes up here and I can change something called the tracking and the tracking you see what the tracking is, is as I adjust this I can actually make my letters further apart that's not working at all now I've wrecked that or closer together so that's kind of spoiled that but sometimes letters do work quite nicely if they're put closer together and you might it might not be something that works for your magazine I've gone for quite a a, a big solid look for mine so I kind of like the fact that I've adjusted it and made my letters closer together uh, you can also look change factors like uh, the diff if you have different lines how far apart the lines of text are and obviously like within any on a word, word processor you can left or right align or even center your text within the frame that you're working on so you've got that now I kind of like the flat just solid red filled effect that I've got for my text but you could experiment if you wanted to with us with some styles now I would advise some caution here because overdoing it with styles doesn't always look good but if you if your start assets you need your assets tab for this and, and and that's over on the right hand side it may not be open so you just click the little triangle and you can see you've got a bunch of preset kind of fill fills there and some of them that really there a lot of these are designed for work making things like buttons which is why they've got the shine on so that some of them are perhaps a little bit over the top and then you've got some styles down there which are meant for text and again some of them are a little bit fussy and not really my favorite I mean if I click that and then select that one actually that doesn't look, that doesn't look too bad but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a slightly more subtle one and I'm going to go for there's one I saw somewhere which was kind of like a, a flatter almost a flat effect there it is there now that doesn't look too bad I actually think that looks quite nice so I've made that a darker red and used that effect and if I zoom in you can get a closer look and the final thing I'm going to show you is something called aliasing now you notice that as I've zoomed in on here uh, what you'll notice is that the edges of the letters are far more pronounced they look quite more jagged I mean I am magnified by 200 percent but what you can also do if you're working with text and images is you can try and improve that so you can actually do something called anti-aliasing which will in simple terms smooth what we're doing so at the moment this is set to no anti-alias and if I click to crisp anti-alias very difficult to notice but there's some slight improvement there so again yeah that's diff that's that's changed and again like many of the things on fireworks you might just want to experiment with how it looks up there I've gone for smooth there and that should hopefully kind of smooth those edges out a bit so if I zoom back go zoom out again and by the way it's much quicker zooming in and out to use control plus or control minus so control minus zooms out and that actually does look a little bit smoother to me so there's my masthead there is my selling line and I would then continue to use text frames and text to fill out my cover stories that I decided were going to feature on this month's edition of my magazine so why don't you try setting up the masthead and your selling line and adding some basic text to your cover and then we can start to look at what to do with images